Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that, well, came out this week in EDM, and I must say, I thought it was a pretty solid week, all things considered. 20 songs I wanted to talk about that came out this week, and uh, we're going to be starting in the meh category, and for those of you that are new, maybe, uh, that means there's no songs that I think are absolute trash, and no songs that I think are bad this week, just songs that I think I'm just okay on, so just no bad songs, in my opinion, this week. And remember, this is all just my opinion. So uh, we are starting with Something to Hold On To by David Guetta and Morton featuring Clementine Douglas. Uh, I'm glad to see these two aren't really fully phoning in, phoning it in on this track. Uh, but while it's not horrible, the synth melody is quite boring and a touch too loud. Um, it's ultimately just an okay song for me. Um, I think that was saved a lot by the vocal feature in Clementine Douglas. So uh, not too bad. Then we've got My Bad by The Chainsmokers featuring uh, Shensia, I want to say how it's pronounced, but uh, a different tone from The Chainsmokers with this one, uh, with a little bit more of a kind of driven, bass-heavy track. And I can see this actually working quite well for a larger, fuller project uh, in The Chainsmokers in the future. I think if they were to do something that was an album just like this, I think it actually could work uh, quite well for them. Um, but uh, just meh. Then we've got Daybreak by Bijou, I think that's how it's pronounced, and Honey and Badger, a uh, song with a lot of potential for commercial success here and streams. Uh, but other than that, um, I don't know, just sounded like it's so similar to the current landscape of house music in today's um, world. Uh, booming synth bass lines and simple beats make for an easy to listen to track, but definitely not um, letting it stand out in any way, uh, one way or another. So I just thought it was meh. Now we've got uh, Incantate by Automate and Samplifier, a very mystical track with kind of aura of witchcraft here, as the name sort of implies, and album art, but uh, it's a bit of your bread and butter kind of no-nonsense rhythm track that uh, is from Disciple that uh, isn't typically my style, and so I have it here because maybe you'll enjoy it. I didn't hate it, but uh, maybe you'll enjoy it more than I did if you like rhythm. Now we've got Sea Turtles by Ivory, a very rigid track with heavy hits and a bit of a kind of gimmicky vocals of like, what do you know about Sea Turtles? Just like a weird, I don't know, it's a weird vocal sample to use and a really weird narrative tone, but um, yeah, pretty much just a mindless, hard-hitting tune uh, that really wasn't all that inviting for me personally. So I uh, didn't, didn't mind it, but I just put it in meh. And speaking of more Monster Cat, we've got Get Wompy by Sippy, not Slippy, Sippy. Um, as its namesake kind of is of this track, uh, this song does um, have a lot of womp to it. Uh, it reminds me a lot of kind of like a Zed's Dead or Subtronics kind of would with its kind of grimy bass line. Uh, I thought the song was pretty empty, though, all things considered. And there were moments that I thought I was really excited with where it was going to head, but then it didn't quite get there. Um, I actually thought the intro and outros were the best parts of this song um, or the intro and outro. So, um, yeah, I just thought it was uh, meh. And we've got Then It Begins by Tynan and Suhan, I want to say. Um, but yeah, The Infinite Loop uh, is kind of a two-song EP here with uh, Then It Begins and I believe it's Now It Ends, I think it's called. But um, yeah, these two tracks kind of like hard-hitting dubstep that kind of is like right up Tynan's alley. Uh, it's a fun concept uh, that I haven't seen a whole lot of in terms of like just kind of two or two or three small songs with a kind of looping aspect to it that are played off of one another. They could essentially be remixes of one another each song. But um, yeah, production wise, I wouldn't say it's really my style per se. Uh, the face melting dubstep and abrasive tones uh, may hit for you though. So maybe, uh, maybe you'll enjoy it more. Then we've got Desire by Calvin Harris and Sam Smith. Uh, similar to the way that Miracle was with Ellie Goulding, um, this is another kind of Euro dance-centric style of track um, with nostalgic elements littered all throughout. Uh, the song does feel very much like a throwback track. Uh, I do think Miracle was a little bit better, especially consider Ellie Goulding's vocals I thought were great. Um, I think Sam Smith is okay on this track, but wasn't really a shining star of anything. Uh, the production, I would say, though, is just a tad weaker from Miracle. So um, I would just say go listen to Miracle. I like it better than Desire. And then we've got Let It Bloom by Grab It. Sadly and meh for me uh, this week. I thought it was pretty underwhelming, all things considered. Um, it's kind of just a, like a very level approach to a melodic track from Grab It without having like the big ups and downs. And it kind of just kind of stays pretty linear, I would say, relatively uh, for a Grab It's track. But um, yeah, it doesn't have the kind of huge impact sounds that normally comes with uh, what I've come to know and love from Grab It's. But uh, I am still really excited for the album coming out uh, later this year, uh, Let Them Only See Butterflies. So 
that was that. As we head into the good category songs that I thought were good, uh, just straight up good. Uh, we've got Give Out by Kill the Noise and Hey Lean. I've uh, been really enjoying the first batch of singles from this upcoming record from Kill the Noise coming out uh, sometime soon, hopefully. I think it's Hollow Mind or something like that. Hollow Earth. No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I'm not actually sure what the name of the album is yet at this point. But uh, yeah, this is kind of more on the basic side of melodic things, uh, but uh, with great vocals. And um, it's got a bit of a kind of basic melodic dubstep structure to it that I don't love a ton from an artist like Kill the Noise. But that being said, I thought it was mixed well. And uh, I'm already hearing that it's, it's growing on me quite a bit already. So... They've got Never Loved You Like That by Nightmare and Big Gigantic featuring Safia. The Gigantic Nightmare EP, collaboration EP, is out now. And uh, this is a bit of a vibe of a track uh, from the single in particular. Uh, it's got a simple kind of drum beat to it, saxophone solos, and calming vocals. Uh, I'm hoping to dive into the rest of the EP soon. And um, I, uh, I'm hoping it's more like this. Maybe one or two heavy hitters, but uh, I liked it quite a bit. They've got In a Room, uh, 7F760 by Aphex Twins, or Aphex Twin, I should say. The uh, new EP is out now with a long title that I'm not going to say. But uh, this is a kind of eerie future garage track that teeters the kind of line of ambient and electro, or electronic, I should say. And um, yeah, it's a neat little track with lots of little nuances and sounds for you to kind of to get your ear to latch onto for each listen. And so it's a fairly different listening experience each time you listen to it, I would say, but a uh, pretty solid kind of um, underground EP, I would say from Aphex Twin. So that's that. Then we've got Levitate by Zed's Dead and Funkin' Matt featuring Soul Edge. Uh, this is a fairly simple house track, I would say, but the vocals here from Soul Edge are uh, conventionally, like, boring of a sorts, um, but I think they really match the atmosphere and tone of the track, and I think worked really quite well. Uh, this is one of those tracks that doesn't do a whole ton and nothing really special, but it just works, and um, I think it's Levitate. They've got In the Summer by OTR, the Be Quiet, They're Listening LP is out now. And um, yeah, this is a very summery house track that feels like a kind of core memory being formed in real time. Uh, I really want to get into this album in full soon, uh, as OTR is just a very like relaxing producer to listen to and something that I always uh, tend to enjoy. So uh, go listen to the new album now. We've got How High by Lewis the Child. A uh, very light and playful trap song here. Uh, this feels like commercial trap done, I would say, quite well. It's got light energy. It's not too short. Easy to groove to. Just a solid, simple, basic trap house or trap track. Trap house isn't really a thing. Maybe it is. It must be a thing in some capacity. I don't know how that would be, but... Uh, then we've got Changes by Zoo. Uh, an interesting new style of Zoo here that is a little bit more melody focused than it is bass focused. Um, tonally a much brighter song than what we would normally get from a Zoo track, and um, I, I enjoyed it. It's got a jittery synth melody and simple vocal pattern that makes for the four minute runtime to run by pretty quickly, actually, uh, in a sort of, in a good way, I would say in a good way, so... Then we got Chase the Sun by Coven. Uh, Katie's vocals are played around with uh, in a way that is very unique for a Coven track. Um, rather than having kind of real, kind of raw sound to it, um, the vocals here are a little bit more dreamy, and I think it worked really well. Uh, it does have a fairly standard drum and bass, I would say, production to it, but I, I do think the vocals make this track kind of from good to just a great, um, and it's a, a style I actually would, would quite like to hear more of um, from Coven in the future, so uh, I liked it quite a bit. And then we are moving into the standout category. We have three songs in standout this week. Songs that I thought were a cut above the rest in a couple ways. Uh, songs I thought were absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got Fracture by Apache, Flux Pavilion, and Joey Valance and Bray, or I should say featuring them. Um, this is a huge collab uh, that is ultimately kind of a hip-hop fusion single of sorts. Um, Joey Valance and Bray have some solid bars, and Apache and Flux Pavilion's uh, production is both like gritty as hell and has that classic uh, orchestral touch to it that Apache normally brings to his tracks. Um, this might be the trap song of the year for me right now, I would say. Um, absolutely love it. I'm just also a fan of Apache and rap at the same time. Uh, so I'm big, big fan. Just like I liked, I liked more, more, more a lot too. So um, earlier track, I think this is just like version two of that one. And I love that song. So that's that. Uh, then we have Gonna Be Good, the live edit by Maddion. Uh, this is specifically, obviously, the live edit version. And I think that being the live edit really took the song from uh, good to great or standout. Um, yeah, the added finale brought some much needed energy to the track and really made it feel like a fully completed 
um, like full circle Maddie on track with the the movements that you would normally get from Maddie on the first couple things and then just a grand finale esque and then a come down and so uh, I think that is that love the track uh, I will only listen to the live edit now I just think it's that, that much better and uh, up last hopefully a new song for a lot of you that you're not gonna know this is loading by James Blake I love James Blake kind of does a bit of uh, alt. Uh, R&B and some old school electronic kind of stuff, some old school garage, but uh, this is great. Uh, this is the single number two from a more electronic focused upcoming album called Playing Robots Into Heaven. Uh, this is a, I don't know, beautiful future garage track with um, stellar production and very serene vocals. Um, the track is uh, unassuming and yet simultaneously quite bold, I would say. Uh, wasn't too hot on the first single of this uh, upcoming album, but uh, if the rest are going to be like this, I'm going to love it. So if you've not heard James Blake or Loading, I would go listen to that now. Big, big fan of the track. A little bit more uh, out there, I would say, similar to like a, an Aphex Twin is. But um, yeah, that has been This Week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. But other than that, uh, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.